Hello everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel if you're new. Welcome back to my YouTube channel if you've already been here. I'm Maria and we are talking about lichen sclerosis here. A disclaimer again. Everything I say in my videos is based on my own experience and on the experience of people who contacted me regarding lichen sclerosis. Let's go! The topic of today's short video is treatment. As you may already know, the treatment options of this autoimmune disease are not that wide. I dare to assume that this is because the testing groups are not that big and probably because there are not many people who want to invest into the investigation of the question how to treat this autoimmune disease. It's still considered to be rare because it's rarely tested. The most common diagnosis is vulvodynia. It's also a genital inflammatory disease, which is um, like a unicorn. Nobody can tell you how to treat lichen sclerosis. Well, nobody can tell you either how to treat vulvodynia, but it's the most convenient diagnosis. Why? Nobody knows. Let's get to the treatment options of lichen sclerosis. First, steroid creams. The first thing the doctor will consider for treating you from lichen sclerosis is corticosteroids, like hydrocortisone. Also, clobetazole or demovaid is a popular ointment. Corticosteroids are very successful for treating eczemas, so that's why they are being used in treating lichen sclerosis as it's a skin condition as well. Especially if you have not the thinning of your skin, but the thickening of your skin, corticosteroids will be really helpful. Still, if you have skin atrophy, the most probable outcome of using hydrocortisone will be even more irritation, more inflammation. Why? Because it's really aggressive for the genital area. But if you're having lichen sclerosis on some other body part, like your back, your shoulders, your chest, your thighs, go ahead and try it. Why not? The second option is also hormonal. It's creams like Ovistin that contain some women hormones. Women after menopause are lacking of estrogens. That's why some doctor says that sometimes lichen sclerosis that occurs after menopause can be related to the low estrogen level. Next treatment is some kind of ointment or gel with collagen. When lichen sclerosis occurs, your skin stops providing you with enough collagen. Your skin lost its turgor, its wrinkles. So you can use the collagen externally or you can take some medical supplements to make your body start producing more collagen. Please consult your doctor before doing that. Next type of treatment is my favorite. It calls tacrolimus. Tacrolimus is an immune depressant which suppresses your immune system that is overactive if you have lichen sclerosis. This kind of ointment can provide you with enough moisturizing your skin and suppressing your immune reaction. To use tacrolimus, you have to have a prescription from your doctor, so please go and check with them. Next thing is anti-inflammatory ointments. Well, for lichen sclerosis, it's not a very good option because it can give you only a temporary relief. But still, isn't it worth trying, right? You have to understand that among the most doctors, lichen sclerosis is considered to be a cosmetical defect. That's why most of the doctors use some cosmetic procedures to conceal your symptoms. Hyaluronic acid is one of the cosmetic procedures that is highly recommended to try with lichen sclerosis. It's hyaluronic acid injection in your genital area. It can provide you with moisturizing your skin and possibly with heightening your collagen levels. But as soon as this is a cosmetic procedure, the result can be not lasting. Also, one of the cosmetic procedures is filler. Hyaluronic fillers can also provide you with some turgor for your skin if under your skin your tissues started to dissolve. And two of the most popular treatment options are PRP, platelet-rich plasma therapy. It's when your doctor takes your blood sample, makes a plasma out of your blood and injects you with your own plasma. As soon as that's your own plasma, the results should be promising. 
Plata leverage plasma therapy has a little side effects, but still you should consult your doctor first before undergoing this procedure. And the second, one of the most promising procedures, which is still illegal in some countries, calls stem cell therapy. Let me tell you that this procedure can be dangerous because it involves liposuction. And of course, the doctor will use anesthesia on you. The doctor will suck your fat cells and then they will be injected in the affected area. It is believed that your stem cells will restore the elasticity of your skin, the collagen levels, even the blood flow. The thing is, you can repeat PRP as much as you want, but the stem cell therapy can be repeated. Yes, there is a series of treatment, two to three procedures of stem cells, but still PRP can be repeated every year. I'm not telling you to go and have your PRP right now. <laughs> you still have some options, right? But what am I trying to do is just to show you the options. The stem cell lift is a very, very promising thing, although it is more expensive than other options. I recorded it later, but I forgot to tell you about one more treatment option. It calls a phototherapy. It really is reminiscent to a laser therapy, and I highly recommend you to use it only for the white patching areas and for skin thickening areas. Because if you use phototherapy, for the affected area with skin atrophy, it can lead you to a chlorosis. Ultraviolet phototherapy for external lichen sclerosis can lead to very good results. Basically, it destroys the outer level of damaged skin. After phototherapy, you will experience more burning, more pain. It will be a really rough period of time, but when your skin will heal itself, a lot of the symptoms can go away and a lot of the patches can go away. But please be careful for the therapy, even despite it uses very low ultraviolet level, can lead to a worsening of your condition. So please speak to your doctor before undergoing this procedure. You have to discuss the risks of the phototherapy for exactly your situation. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to get the notifications of the new content here. See you in the next episode. Stay safe. Bye.